All right, well, it's the largest art show here in Colorado that features only Colorado artists. And before they can display their work, they have to pass an audition of sorts. Channel 2's Dan Drew is in Loveland to explain. First, a clarifier. It's called the Governor's Art Show, but it's not affiliated with any political party. It's just a name. It draws me to it. Awesome. Right, and I think that's what good art does. But it is an all-Colorado artist exhibit featuring 60 Colorado-based creators. I think it's important that we showcase the talent that we have in this state. Consisting mostly of paintings and sculptures, the show most definitely is inspired by the 38th state. I paint donuts is because you have this urge to eat them, but no, you just can't quite. And, and inspiration comes in all shapes and colors, like a box of donuts for Denver painter Greg Block. So, what does he call this? I call this a painting, and, and the inspiration was like anything that inspires me, which is color, shape, texture, and composition. That is like gazillions of crushed seashells. Former Disney animator and now sculptor like Ellen Woodbury said she moved to Loveland because it's sculpture town. Loveland has four fine art bronze foundries, which is which is incredible for a community community of this size. You don't have to be a sommelier to like wine, and you don't have to be an art critic to like art. When I look at this, I think it's beautiful. The colors just really speak to me. Right. This, and this guy is kind of amazing because he doesn't always work in color. The art show is juried, which means the artists are judged before being invited. Should we really be judging others? Uh, yeah. In Loveland, Dan DeRue, 2 Prime News. Some gorgeous pieces Absolutely. up there. Absolutely, so lifelike. All right, a massive price tag for the state of...